Hi, Dave here. This is a dummy's guide to rebuilding a horizontal drive South Bend Model A lathe. This one built December 30th, 1942 during World War II. Why a dummy's guide? Because I have no metal working and machining experience at all. I hope to present you with a visual step-by-step -step plan for the rebuild in a series of videos. This may take a few years to make because the rebuild is still an ongoing process. The only requirement is you've got to get your hands dirty and you've got to love it. It's truly a labor of love. Why build a lathe? Over time, particles accumulate inside the many crevices and recesses which could affect operation. Various wicks and felts which transport oils to shafts and gears get clogged and need replacing. Some recommend rebuilding once a decade or even sooner. There are a number of helpful lathe guides that can be downloaded as PDFs for free using Google Books. I also received helpful tips from a few forums including the South Bend Yahoo user group and the Hobby Machinist forum. There were some disagreements by members on rebuilding techniques as could be expected but these were minor. The most helpful resource you can find is a book called a Guide to Renovating the South Bend Lathe from Ilian Publishing. We will now divide the lathe into various components and tackle one at a time. In no particular order, we have the carriage consisting of the apron and saddle. Next, we have the headstock and counter shaft, tailstock, gearbox, and gear change and reverse assembly. This last one we will do first, followed by the gearbox. The first thing to do is mount the lathe on a suitable table. Mine has steel legs and supports and sits on a concrete slab in my garage. It is important to level the table and or the lathe and ensure there's no twisting in the lathe bed. I shimmed the table legs with steel plates as my floor was sloped in two directions. It is important to document everything you do, every gear you remove, which way you remove that gear and shaft, and get all the photos in sequence so later you can reassemble everything in the reverse order of the disassembly. If you get into a bind, ask for help on the forums I mentioned and show them pictures and give a good description. Read the FAQs, uh, read the book I mentioned several times from cover to cover. If you get frustrated, stop what you're doing immediately take some time away from the lathe and take stock of the situation and ask for more help.